or so with the On Your Side forecast. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. What a 24 hours it has been weather-wise. And of course, then with the earthquake from yesterday, I want to get right to the graphics and just show you kind of big picture from the past 12 hours, what has been happening. Look at all of this activity. If you're not looking at your screen, take a quick peek. We have seen everything from that major earthquake in the center of the state. That's that big yellow dot you see. Look at this. We saw a tornado around Richland, Washington. This was around on 2.30 yesterday afternoon, uh, probably a weak tornado. We will learn today the magnitude of that. And then also out around American Falls, check this out, a funnel cloud was spotted about five miles north of American Falls at four o'clock yesterday. And you see those wind gusts, those little circles on the eastern side of the state. We saw 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts yesterday afternoon. And of course we had rainy, wet, breezy weather across the Treasure Valley yesterday as well. And we had a dumping of mountain snow for these uh, the start of spring. So it was just a crazy wrap up to the month of March. And look how we are kicking off April. This is our current Doppler radar picture. There is snow streaming into southern Idaho. It is cold enough to support snowfall across much of the area. Twin Falls, you're seeing some snow right now stretching on up into Gooding and just some light showers around Fairfield. And check out Nampa, South Nampa. There's a couple of flurries being picked up on radar. So don't be surprised by a couple of snowflakes if you're headed out very early early this morning. In general, though, we will see a lot more sunshine today. So watch our future cast here as I let this play out. The sunshine is the good news. We may still see just a few sprinkles around Ontario, maybe stretching into Boise, maybe in Twin Falls this afternoon. But look at our temperatures. At 6 o'clock this evening, we'll only be in the mid to upper 40s. Um, those will be around our high temperatures for the day. In the mountains, we'll continue some snow showers. Those will start clearing out overnight. But look at our cold start to the day tomorrow, down into the 20s as skies continue to clear. And in McCall, we carry a chance of some showers Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a very slim chance. And then our next storm system takes aim Sunday, Monday at the region with rain and snow up in the mountains. And it looks like some more rain showers for the Treasure Valley as well by the end of the weekend, though temperatures will slowly start climbing. Look at our day today, 51 for Vail, 50 in Weezer, only 45 degrees in Boise to kick up April will normally at 59 degrees, so nearly 15 degrees below average, and we'll have a cold northwesterly wind. So it is going to be a chilly Wednesday. Some snow showers popping up this afternoon and the into this evening in the McCall area. Some straight thunderstorms are also possible in some of the higher elevations today and high temperatures for McCall only at the freezing mark. We'll stay in the 20s all afternoon in Stanley with mostly sunny skies in Sun Valley and then a few snow showers over in Stanley. A cold breeze down in Fairfield with a high of just 37 degrees. And after this morning, snow showers in Twin Falls. We'll have a cold wind out of the west and high temperatures only around 41, if you can believe it. So it might be a day to just stay inside, even though the sunshine may look nice. So tomorrow, mostly sunny, upper 40s. We'll hit the 50s again on Friday. Over the weekend, we do see sunshine Saturday, 53 degrees to kick off the weekend. Then here comes that storm system with more showers popping up, but temperatures moderating in the mid to upper 50s from the weekend through early next week.